In this video, we are looking at the newest addition to our 9500 family, the Cisco Catalyst 9500X 28C8D. To start with, let us take a look at the Catalyst 9000 family, starting with the 9200 on the access side, all the way up to the 9600 and the 9500 on the core side. With our X-Series launch, we are refreshing our family of switches across the board with the 9300, the 9400, the 9500, and the 9600. The 9500X 28C8D is our fixed core offering powered by our in-house Cisco Silicon One Q200 ASIC. This ASIC is fabricated using a 7 nanometer process which gives us extremely high performance at low power footprints. A single ASIC provides 12.8 TBPS of switching bandwidth with a total switching capacity of 8 billion packets per second. So here is the X factor, the 9500X, two times the switching performance of the 9500 high performance switches, 10 times the routing scale, eight gigabytes of deep buffers, and hierarchical cures with a virtual output queue forwarding model. Now looking at the switch, we have 28 QSFP28 ports with speeds of up to 100 gigs, and eight QSFP DD ports with speeds up to 400 gigs for a maximum bandwidth of six terabits per second. Each port can operate at line rate without any blocking or oversubscription anywhere. The switch also has an 8-core CPU with 32 gigs of DDR4 DRAM along with 16 gigs of onboard flash storage which can be expanded using either a 480 gig or a 960 gig SSD. Additionally, the switch also has a dedicated PHY which supports line rate MACSEC and WAN MACSEC in addition to support for IEEE 1588 and PTP version 2. Let us compare this with our 9500 high performance series switches, which were powered by the UADP 3.0 ASIC. The maximum bandwidth provided by this ASIC was 1.6 TBPS, and we had to use multiple ASICs on our high performance switches to provide a total bandwidth of 3.2 TBPS. In contrast, a single Cisco Silicon One ASIC on a 9500X can provide a bandwidth of 6 TBPS. You asked for it and we listened. With the 9500X switches, we now support reversible airflow. We have two unique fan tray units corresponding to the airflow direction. Choose one depending on your rack requirements. The switch can house a total of six fan trays, five for normal operations and one for redundancy. Note that all six fan trays must be aligned to the same airflow direction. In a first for campus switching, the Cisco 9500X switch uses a virtual output queue forwarding model. With this model, the switch builds virtual queues between each ingress and egress and forwards the traffic based upon a credit system. The virtual queues between the ingress and the egress enables the Cisco 9500X to circumvent a phenomenon called head of line blocking, which is typically seen on devices with higher speeds and bandwidths. In this phenomenon, back pressure from congestion from one port might cause other ports to start dropping traffic as well. On the buffering side, we have a hybrid buffering model utilizing two unique buffers for different types of traffic. For high priority traffic and traffic requiring low latencies, we use 80 MB specialized uh, shared memory subsystem buffers. To address micro bursts and buffering requirements for speed discrepancies between the ingress and the egress, we have uh, eight gigabytes of on-demand high bandwidth memory buffers. With the VOQ architecture and hybrid buffering, along with the high route and max scales, the 9500X can now be positioned as a core or as an edge device. The 9500 high performance switches are not going anywhere. We will continue to develop and support our 9500 high performance switches, making it ideal as a core switch for lower speeds and lower port density networks, and ideal for customers looking to upgrade from the 6500 or 6880 deployments. For the 6500 or 6880 XL deployments, however, the higher scale numbers of the 9500X make it an ideal choice. For more information on the 9500X, please refer to the Catalyst 9500 data sheet, a product release blog, as well as the 9500 release notes for iOS XE 17.7. Thanks a lot for watching. If you found the video helpful, please do click the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to be notified when new content is released on this channel.